the man, one pound the heavier. And he's got a one and a half inch reach advantage. Our eight in an experts fight gauge. Striking Gomez, ground game Gomez, speed to the man, strength Mikey Gomez by two. Endurance, they're both very tough. We are set for three rounds of action. Mikey Gomez enters the exit seat cage yet again. Let's throw it up to Christopher Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our co-main event of the evening, and it is in the XFC middleweight division. Let's meet the fighters. Right now, in the blue corner, he's a stand-up fighter, standing six feet, three inches tall. He weighed in 186 pounds. He brings into the cage a professional record, eight wins and two defeats. Tonight, he represents Capital City Combat Club, and he's fighting out of Tallahassee, Florida. Please welcome Josh Subban! And his opponent standing across the cage in the red corner. He's a practitioner of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, standing six feet, one inch tall, and weighing 185 pounds. Tonight he brings into the cage a professional record. 12 wins against 8 defeats. Representing Rain Training Center and fighting from Newport Beach, California. Please welcome Mikey Gomez! Our referee in charge, Nate Jolly. Uh, you guys both know the rules. I expect you to obey them at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Have any questions from Red? Any questions from Luke? If you don't touch him, touch him right now. Saban bouncing up and down on the balls of his feet, ready to go here. He comes in as the underdog, plus 185. Mikey Gomez, minus 235. Thanks to Nick Kalikas, but on fighting.com. Great crowd here at the Knoxville Civic Coliseum. Third man in the cage, the great Nate Jolly, Michael Chavello, Pat Milotic. Here we go. Many Orthodox. Side leg, he's broken up for Gomez, quick to cover though. Saman goes with the hands. Gomez rushing him back against the cage with a double leg here. Saman looking for a submission here. I think I'd be more concerned about the takedown and dealing with that first before the submission because if he ends up on his back against Gomez, he might find some serious problems. Gomez can sustain a lot of punishment. Human sponge. North south position here. Turns the knuckles in. Then goes to the head. Gomez will lock you onto a single. Now switches back to a double. Competitive opening round here. Right away looking for that half guard sweep. Climbing in there. And if it's strong for us, we'll see that sound smashing. Double hammer fists. North South again, one foot on the cage here. It goes to the left side of the body of Mikey Gomez. Gomez edging him back, right in front of our commentary position now. Getting in deep on that single leg. He's got to turn the corner though. Saman trying to punch out the tattoo. Working that right hand nicely. Maybe not doing a lot of damage, but maintaining his activity. Scoring, constantly glancing towards his corner pack. Receiving instructions. Yeah, and it's very annoying when you're stuck underneath somebody trying to get a takedown and they keep peppering you with shots. It is a little bit uh, annoying to say the least. Shots again here from Saman. Tries to pick him up and dump him over the back. That's Mikey Gomez. That was an awkward position. Gomez needs to, when you come up like that with the double with your head between, you got to cut one arm between their legs and spin on that single. Then you come out behind your opponent. He did not do that, though. There's the arm between the legs. Now, tracking away again to the left side of the body. Arm between the legs once more here for Saman. Elbows to the body now. Where does Gomez go from here, Pat? Well, Gomez needs to keep the single and turn the corner or go back to that posted leg, the right leg. The Saman smash! And now Gomez dumps him out the back door, but Saman straight back on top of him. Made that mistake again. He lifted him up with the head between the legs. Got to switch off to the single. Looking for the submission on the leg now. Gomez going to throw the legs up. Might be try for a triangle here. Looking for the arm. Up there. Yeah, his, intentions, the his intentions are definitely going after that leg. Oh, 
turned the knuckles in nicely and somehow snaked it through that gap in the armpit. Saman takes the bat. We've got a game, we've got a game. 18 Saman, the 23-year-old, 12 for that curve, the 29-year-old. Saman looking at measuring with the right hand. Now trying to sink a choke. You know, Gomez did a lot of work there to go for that leg lock and got himself in trouble. Gomez getting tagged by the violent right hands. Saman Pelvey got him still a long way to go. One minute 35 remains. Gomez taking punishment. He comes up. Saman flips him out again. Cracking into the skull. Ringing the bell. The Saman smash. Gomez in trouble. Sam and ended up taking the back from BJJ Black, but finishing with strikes. Pat Sam, Sam, finishing with the Saman smack. You know you love it. I'm not doing it. You know you love it. Come on, Pat. <laughs> Saman smash. Hey, Fabo. Josh Saman, elated. The crowd here in Knoxville, Tennessee loved it. I'm sure Gray Maynard, who I know is watching live, He's from Tennessee. I oh, know he's enjoying it. This man doing a good job there. Starting out fast, throwing a lot, of, a lot of punches in that combo. Here he is going for that choke. Gomez again. He's in on the leg. Say it, Pat. Say it. <laughs> Gomez is in on the leg. Here he is. That's where he stayed with the double. Tandy Militich. You gotta spin. You gotta spin on that technique. Here he is. He's got his back. Dropping bombs on him. Out grapple the grappler. Great defense for the submissions. Gomez went for the leg lock, cost him position. Here he is. Watch how hard he works for this leg lock. He keeps fighting for his team, trying to get that arm out of the way so that he can get down to the leg. Finally gets his leg past the arm. Once he does that, he's able to kick that leg over. There but he is, but he still lost called, it. Pat? What's that called? That's that's called a. Uh, what was that, Pat? That's called a double hillbilly hand smash. <laughs> The Saman Smash does it in style here in the cage. Not to be for Mikey Gomez. Tough night out for him. Let's go up to Christopher James. Josh, great performance. You know, in the, in the beginning there, you came out with beautiful strikes. He got on you with the takedown. He did a good job of, of defending the takedowns. Tell us about some of that. You know, I just want to put a show on for these fans. Um, I like to finish every fight as violently as I can. Uh, hats off to Mikey Gomez. He was a great opponent. I got a lot of people to thank. I know I'm going to forget some. Joey Bertoff, Jeremy Connor. This fight's for you guys. I got to thank everybody else. Uh, Rob Kahn, Rob... Professor Roberto, all my guys at C4, Scrap Pack out in California for making me feel at home. Gary, whenever I go out there, uh, Mom, Dad, I love you. So many more. Okay, now he did go for the leg lock. He worked very hard to get into position for that. Tell me about defending that. What what did you do to shut that down? You know, we, we had prepared for that. We anticipated he was going to go for those leg locks and submissions. Uh, and I just like to be real top heavy. I know as soon as I can land a couple on somebody's chin, it'll make them rethink their game plan. I think that's what happened tonight. Yeah, and then obviously you took the back of a BJJ black belt. He's a very good grappler. You didn't go for submissions there. You, you dropped the bombs on him. I mean, was it, were you a little worried about maybe going for a submission and losing position? No, you know, like I told you in the, uh, in the, in the, in the, the, the conference yesterday, press conference, I like to, you know, I just like to finish by KO. I want to make it so every other middleweight doesn't want to fight me. You know, you choke people out, it's painless. You knock them out, and they, they remember that shit. All right, good performance, great performance. Josh Saman, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, guys. He's a hell of a character, Josh Saman. John Prisco shaking his hand. Okay, folks, where are we going with h and Fights coming up?